Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force here with some more Friday Night's Magic. Today we're playing something that I haven't played in a while, which is a control deck. This is going to be a, a blue and white control deck with a little bit of focus on lands as well. You know what, I'm actually going to keep this hand because I've got this, which will play off of this and get me additional card draw. So let's go ahead and keep this. Yes, yes, yes. Let's keep this very much so. So I think I'm going to start off by digging for a white with the uh, Evolving Wilds. It's going to help thin out our deck a bit. And then I'm going to go blue, Alchemist Vile. And so long as we draw a third land in our next couple of draws, we'll be able to draw uh, play the Artificer's Epiphany as well, which will be good. Okay, so before the end of his turn, we're going to search for... Hopefully he doesn't play anything this turn. There we go, nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, ditch this. We'll dig for a white card, because I'd like to be able to play Gideon, if at all possible. So the white card comes into play tapped, and then it's our turn. We we play... Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's perfect, actually. And then we, we'll play this, and then we'll play that. That's perfect. That's going to work out perfectly. Okay, so we play this. We play the Alchemist Vial. Comes into play. We draw a card. And then I can, ta I can sacrifice it at any point to make it so one of his creatures can't block or attack or whatever. And we draw into a Spell Shrivel, which is one of our counter spells there. And then what I will do next turn is we'll play the Prairie Stream and we'll save our mana if we want to do counters. Or, before the end of his turn, we'll end up doing an Artificer's Epiphany. Okay, so let's go ahead and play... Ooh, here is our uh, creature turning land. Very cool. Uh, but we don't want to play this right now. I want to play my Prairie. And, uh, and then it is going to be passing the turn. So we can counterspell... Or we can card draw. It's all going to depend on what he tries to come out with right here. So let's see if he tries to play anything. He does not. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going to go ahead and play this and draw two cards. That's so going to put us up three. Oh, does he? Oh, he is. Oh, he is counter as well. Okay. All right. I see what's happening here. All right. So knowing that he's control as well. Well, I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to plan on counterspelling some stuff that he does. We, we'll be able to play uh, Gideon next turn if he taps out. We've got the Spell Shrivel if he tries to play anything on his turn. We can counterspell it with this. And then we can play Gideon. So hopefully he taps out because I'd really like to play Gideon next turn if at all possible. Alright, because he didn't tap out, I am I'm actually not going to play Gideon because I don't want him to be able to counter it. There's a good chance he's sitting on counter. So I'm not going to play Gideon for that reason. Oh, shit. How many? Uh, three, six, seven. Okay, we're at seven right now. So we're good to pass the turn still. We don't have to discard anything yet. I don't... I mean... Eh, boy. It's basically like who who bucks first, right? Inspiration. All right, we're going to... We're going to... We're going to go ahead and counter that. Don't let him get any card draw. Try to keep him behind. If it, I mean, he countered my, my card draw. I'll counter his. I just really hope he taps out here. Damn, he doesn't. All right. Oh, I think we just play the game slow. I mean, I think that's what we do. I think we just play the game slow. I could bounce this back and replay it for additional card draw. That's kind of silly, though. Whatever. All right. We just play it slow. We just play it slow. Pass the turn. Plain and simple. Because we still do have another counter spell as well, so... But I, I mean, like he's doing the same thing, though. That's the that's the problem here. I need to draw into a land, otherwise we're going to be forced to discard or forced to play Gideon. I really need to draw. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we drew into a land and we pass the turn. <laughs> drew a land, pass the turn. Yeah, we're at seven, so we're good. Just need another black source, and then I can start attacking with a shambling vent. Or I need him to to blink first, basically. It's just really, it's not worth sacrificing Gideon at all. But you, this is the funniest thing, because he knows. Well, actually, no. Can I disperse as well? No, no, no. I need one more, one more mana, and I can play something and then counter if he tries to counter it. Yeah, so... Okay. One more mana, and then we can play him and then counter if he if he counters. <laughs> this is freaking hilarious. Okay. Awesome. Alright, so let's go for it. Let's play Gideon. 
And then we'll, um, we'll spell shroud if he tries to counter it. Hopefully he doesn't play counter for two. If he plays a counter for two, then the, the spell shrivel actually won't work. So this is a pretty big deal. Okay, good. It goes through. Perfect. Okay. I'm guessing he can attack right now. I actually don't know how this works. I guess I'll try it out and see what happens. I think he might have summoning sickness, though. Yes, he does. Okay. Well, it, it's the the plus counter is still good anyways, though, so that's fine. We, we still got a, we got a plus counter on it anyways, so... He's gonna inspiration. I'm actually gonna let that go through. I'm gonna save my counter spell for countering an actual thing. The plus, actually doing the plus was good because now we can minus four at some point, which will mean um, we'll get the emblem and we'll still keep him. Plus it also makes it harder for him to kill with burn. That's the other thing. Okay, what is this? Is a 3 2, enters the battlefield, return to our enter surgery card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, fuck it, let's counter that. Whatever, let's counter it. Oh, he's gonna dispel my counter. Ah, sneaky. Okay. And then he gets back his counter spell. Yeah, I got lots of different options. All right, well, let's put a 2-2 two -two in play. For zero. And then, uh, do I want to trigger this? I can trigger this for three. I'll have three mana left to do this without the Awaken. I don't think I want to turn that yet, so. So let's just pass the turn. I think this is good. Let's just pass the turn. We don't need to do anything quite yet. So let's see what he tries to do here. He's going to do nothing. All right, so I'm going to try to do this. If he counters, I think I'll just counter back for the sake of getting the card draw. All right, we'll see if he has another counter spell. We'll see if he's got another one, or if it resolves. All right, so we each use a counter. I get the card draw, which hope, ideally the idea is it's going to let me draw into more counter. All right, I am going to attack for two. All right, I might take a chance on him not having any more counter spells. Um, and try to play my flying creature. Let's take a chance. Oh. Oh, well. Gotta take some risks at some point. Oh, it's gonna resolve? Maybe he's got burn or bounce then. Yeah, he's got something. He's countering it again. Or he's uh, pausing again. Alright, doing the twin bolt. One to each of those. And then a fire impulse for three to finish that off. So we just got him to use two burn spells, though. That's pretty good. And we we still we, and we've got creatures in play. You know what I mean? Let's do a plus counter here. Let's also turn this guy. Okay. And we're gonna swing for a bunch right now. And we go into combat phase. Swing for five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. And I think I'm going to play another vial just for the card draw. I've got, I don't, well, no, I do have a counter spell. Maybe I should save it. Maybe I should save for it. Yeah, we don't need, we don't really need the card draw. We got plenty of stuff in our hands right now anyway. So we'll save our mana for the counter spell. If he tries to play something big, it'll work. If he plays something small, he can just pay the four. But. Let's actually spell shrivel that and see if we can get him to pay the four. And then he'll be tapped out and I can bounce that back and hit him next turn. If 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and, and he'll be at two. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to pump him. Change him. I could just make it so that he can't block. No, I want to bounce it back so he has to replay it. And then we can make it so that it can't block next turn. Okay. So I'm gonna bounce I'm gonna bounce this back. And then we're gonna hit him with everything. Gonna hit him with these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's down to two now. And then that's the end of my turn. And then next turn I can make it so that his one blocking creature can't block and Swim Bolt. So he's gonna kill off that dude. That's not enough though. Alright, so he should just die right now, unless he's got something else fancy going on right now. Okay, so we are going to activate. Actually, I don't need to activate this. No, I still should because he might have, uh, he might have something to get rid of Gideon or something like that. So if I do this though, he's got two threats to deal with. Okay, so there's our five-five creature or two-three. Let's go into combat phase. So even if he got rid of Gideon, we still have our two-three. Although this thing's indestructible, right? Yeah, so he would need something else anyway. So that's gonna do it! Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo, man! Yeah, I guess this is okay. We'll keep this. It's really not the greatest because we start off with two tap lands, but I like having the mill nice and early. That, that could be extremely annoying for our opponent. Well, we could draw another basic land, so we'll do this first because we could draw another basic land. Um, and then, in, so we play this, we play the other basic land, and then we play this. You know what I mean? That could work out. Either way, I'm going to play the island next turn so we get the Alchemist Vial for our card draw. And a Rogue's Passage comes into play. Okay, so I'm going to play the island so we get the card draw. There we go, nice. Now we can play the Sphinx Tutelage next turn. And that'll start the milling very soon. We'll have Gideon. I've got to figure out what I want to do with him, if I want to play him right away or not. Might not against two Perilous Mers. Although that's not enough to kill him, so... Okay, so we are going to play Tutelage. So he's going to start getting milled very early. We've got card draw. We've got Gideon. We've got mass clear. We've got a lot of things going on here. It's gonna be slow because we've got tap lands coming up, so we can't do any four drop next turn. But we will be able to do the Arti um, Artificer's Epiphany. Which one of these should I play? I don't know. Maybe the Shambling Vent. Hits me for two. So we're gonna wanna do the board clear pretty soon, to be honest. So he will mill two cards. Okay. Um, well, these come into play untapped now. And we don't really care about that. So let's do something that comes into play tapped. Let's just do the vent, I guess. So I'll just play the vent. And past the turn and then before the end of his turn we'll do our epiphany and we're gonna um i'm i think we might actually do the board clear next turn especially if, if he plays like one or two more creatures we will absolutely do it yeah i'm thinking there's a good chance we're gonna do the tragic um tragic arrogance very soon because he's hitting us hard We need to start getting into some of that damage, especially with those Perilous in play. It's just insanely scary. So here's card draw. With that, he gets milled again. He 
gets milled again. We're drawing a lot of lands here, huh? Play the Prairie Stream. And, I mean, we might just have to do this now. Alright, I'm gonna try playing this. And then giving him plus one so we can't kill it with board. Can also sacrifice this. Uh, to stop that from attacking. Sacrifice this. So now he needs to find three three damage from hand because this thing can't attack right now. So either he does two damage to Gideon or he just hits us in the face for two. Looks like he's going to Gideon. Okay. All right. Please play another creature for the love of God. I beg of you. Ugh, damn it. Damn it. All the best laid plans, man. Okay, so I'm gonna plus him. We're gonna go ahead and tragic. He gets to do two damage, um, and he do, does it to face, rightfully so, because the damage to me wouldn't matter. And then I can hit him for five here. Gideon also has four counters now, making him harder to kill. It's just a real bummer I had to use that there, because that's not really that great. I only removed two of his creatures, but he wasn't playing anything else, so... And then this comes into play, of course. Seven, eight. He's gonna deal one damage to Gideon. Okay. Ah, shit. I've got nothing for that now. I knew something like that was going to happen, but that's a counter spell. That's not enough. Going to play her. Going to make a 2-2. Two -two. Going to make a 2-2. Two -two. Making the 2-2 two -two, um, as a blocker for his Perilous. Basically. Man, I knew something like this was going to happen, but I just couldn't. I already waited two turns, and I was so low. I, like, couldn't wait any longer. It's a baffle. If you control another creature named Fairy, draw. Okay. okay. Destroy target creature. Well, there goes my 4-4. Four, four. Sacrifice the perilous steal two damage from my face. I need, I need to draw a bounce or something. That's not even enough, though. I don't know what I need to draw. I mean, I can keep making two twos and blocking the seven eight. Nope, can't block the seven eight with a rogue's passage. I'm down to two. Oh, right, just forces it straight to Gideon. Smart. Well, I. I need bounce and then counter, and then I counter it. That's what I need. That's not, that's more lands. That's more lands. Let's gain some life. That's good, that helps. So he can just make his 7-8 unblockable. Question is, do I force him to use the mana? I think I just swing for two actually. Because he can just make that unblockable anyways, so. Maybe I tried to do this position where I'm I'm going to try to race him. I, it, this, buy, this might buy me like an extra turn. Or two. If I draw another black mana source, actually. 
Oh, Evolving Wilds. I should have thought ahead because I could have used that to gain life to survive the 14 damage from two turns. I should have thought ahead in Evolving Wilds. Oh my god. I shouldn't have played the Glacial thing. I should have Evolving Wilds for a Black Source. It would have given me... Um, actually, I would use one. No, because then I, it still wouldn't have mattered. I need two more. I need two Black Sources, actually, not one. So he makes that unblockable even though I've got nothing to block with. Maybe he's worried I'm gonna I play something with Flash or whatever. So bounce is like it right now. If I don't draw bounce, then I'm in a lot of trouble. I've drawn so many lands this game, it's insane. Bouncer bust. This is it, bouncer bust. It's not it. So he just makes it unblockable, so it doesn't even matter. I need to draw my bounce. That's my only choice. <sighs> Damn. Oh, man. <sighs> Shit. So he makes it unblockable, swings for seven, and that's the game. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Well, maybe he doesn't think of it. And we get away with it. Okay, there's the Rogue's Passage. No! <laughs> yeah, I was really hoping, man. I was really hoping. What's this shit? Okay, why? Well, just felt like playing that, I guess. To show me that he had it. Thanks for showing me your deck if we were playing again. Now I'll know you have that. Whoa! Yeah, man, just so much mana. Yeah, uh, let's keep this. Let's keep this. We've got the early Jace. Now, we won't play him if I think that he's going to be able to kill it. But if he can't, then I'll play him early to get that to get that card draw discard going and potentially flip him nice and fast. All right, well, he hasn't played a creature yet. Maybe I just go for it, huh? And then I try to counter in upcoming turns. I've got the Hydra Lash. I've got a counter. Sure, why not? Let's, let's just play Jace right now. No, we'll, we'll see if this works. I mean, if he's got no early creatures or minus effects, like, this will work out. So we draw a card, discard a card, and then when there's five or more in our graveyard, we flip them. Ah, oh, well, there's a creature. Although I can minus two minus oh him with the Hydro Lash here, so he doesn't deal damage to him yet. In fact, wait, that's not enough to... No, that, that doesn't matter. That's not enough to kill him, so it's not, it doesn't even matter. Okay, so let's uh, draw a card, discard a card. We will discard the planes, because we can just dig for planes anyways. Let's discard the planes. I want to hold on to the Evolving Wilds, because it filters out my deck. That's actually something I want to keep. Um... Okay, so now we can do the Hydra Lash if need be. Actually, no, wait. I, I, I was thinking that he was already a Planeswalker. He is not already a Planeswalker. That's silly. And the nice thing about discarding this, too, is the Evolving Wilds feeds into that even further. So that works out very well. We can play the Artificer's uh, Epiphany just for the single card draw and to get another creature in my graveyard, which I really like. Oh, oh no, it's Exile. Oh, the Ingest is actually really bad. We're losing stuff off over top of our library. Shit. Okay, that was a land. Oh my god, fuck, man, really? Draw a card, discard a card. For favor, playing this right now. And then we'll ditch this. We'll dig through for another white source. Okay, so now we got three in our graveyard. About to have four. Actually, we're going to have five here uh, at the end of his turn with the Art Artificer. So. And then we get to flip Jace. And we can stop and jest um, with Jace as well. So Artificer's is going to give us the fifth land. We we do Jace. And he, he's going to flip around. 
Oh, this is really good. Oh, this is really good. And then with Jace, we can stop his uh, ingest from hitting us because he's got a minus two, minus zero effect the last my turn and his turn. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. All right. So let's see what he's got going on. Okay. Plays a land. Attacks. It's fine. I'm going to let it go through. Before the end of his turn, we're going to play Artificers. We're going to draw a card, discard a card. Let's discard the Hydra Lash. So that's four and five. Beautiful. Then Jace, draw a card, discard a card. Flip Jace. Give his creature, do the plus one effect to give his creature minus two, minus zero. And that's going to stop it from dealing damage to us now. All right, so we can also play Gideon. Fuck it, let's try to play Gideon. See if he has Counterspell or not. No, he doesn't. All right, so do we go with the plus effect? No, let's just do the Soldier right now. Because I'm not too concerned about him dealing four damage. So let's get a creature in play. And then let's play our tap land, I suppose. Oh man, this is really... <laughs> We've got two Planeswalkers in play. So 5-5 five, five Indestructible, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, emblem that pumps up my creatures. Minus two, minus zero till uh, my turn. I uh, use an insert sorcery card for my graveyard, and minus nine whenever you cast a spell. Uh, opponent drops five cards. So attacking with this thing wouldn't really do anything, anyways. Nice. He has to discard a card. Nice. Let's go plus to lower him. Let's play. I could play the Swamp to activate, or I could play the Evolving Wilds to do what? It'll, it'll let me do the this thing in the future. Well, let's attack first. Let's give him plus, and we'll attack with these two. Before we do anything else. Oh, well then that stops me from... Okay. I guess I'll play the Evolving Wilds now, because clearly I'm not activating him. I could use it for... Okay, whatever. We'll just Evolving Wilds now. We'll dig for a... I um, guess it really doesn't matter. I guess we'll dig for another blue source. Okay. And that's it! Oh, this is really freaking good. Like, I don't know what he has, but we've got two Planeswalkers in play, which is really awesome. And I'm just going to keep plussing so that he can't um, ingest my cards. And, and force me to exile them. Luckily, he only hit two lands with that, which is very good for me. Okay, plus one, plus one, as long as you control Swamp. Um, you know what? I'm going to counter it, because he doesn't have much else going on. So maybe... I don't know. We'll just counter it. We won't deal with it. There you go. Target player sacrifices and attack or blocking creature. Okay, so we've got even more removal here. All right, do I want to play any of the instant or sorcery cards for my graveyard? I guess we could cat. We could do the card draw. I don't mind waiting though until I get the emblem. So we'll give him minus two minus so. We will put another two two in play. I guess we will play this. Let's just activate this guy. Because we don't have anything else to do, really, um, with our mana right now. So, okay, perfect. So we activated him. And, I mean, we're going to be close to killing him, actually. Go to attack phase. Not right now, but in the next couple of turns. If I do another attack phase with Gideon or something, that'll be really good. So he takes the four. We also gain two life off of that. Actually, I might be able to win. What, can I win next turn if I pull something back? No, I don't have any bounce. I was gonna say if I if I had bounce, I could pull something back and Gideon. But oh, this is really freaking good. Oh my gosh! Forced to discard again. He is screwed. Actually, now he is especially screwed because we just drew Vile. So we're gonna play Vile. We are going to draw a card. We are going to activate this. To, to turn him, we are going to minus two, minus zero. 
Not that it matters, because we are going to make him a 5-5 and indestructible. And sacrifice this to make it so that he cannot block. Boop. And that should be it. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage coming through. Unless he's got some removal or something here. Let's find out. Move into attack phase. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's see if he's got a, a removal or bounce or anything like that. The answer's no! And so we win. Pretty cool deck. Uh, fun to play control. Hope you guys enjoyed it.